Welcome to our review on the rates of transpiration. So we need to remember that there are four main factors that are going to increase the rate of transpiration. So the first one is an increase in light intensity. Second one is an increase in temperature. Third one, an increase in air movement or being windy. And finally, a decrease in humidity. And humidity is just the amount of moisture present in the air. So the best way to think about this is think about if you hang clothes out on a washing line, what's going to make them dry faster? It's going to be exactly the same things as is happening here. If we want to carry out an experiment to measure the rate of transpiration, then we use a bit of equipment called a potometer. Now that's at the bottom in the diagram there as you can see. And what it actually consists of is this very thin tube called a capillary tube which we set against a little scale there and we ensure that there's a tiny air bubble amongst the water. Then on one end you can see we've got a cut stem of our plant which we've inserted in making sure it's all nice and airtight. Then what's going to happen is as the water evaporates from the leaves of our plant then more water is going to be drawn up from the actual potometer and that's going to move the little air bubble. So if our air bubble moves a long distance, then we know we've got quite a rapid rate of transpiration. If it only moves a very small distance, we know transpiration is happening slowly. If we consider those factors in more detail now, and the first one we're going to look at is the light intensity. So what we actually find is that the stomata close in the dark and open in the light. So when we've got a greater light intensity, more stomata will be open. So as a result of more stomata being open, we're going to be able to lose more water from inside our leaves to the surroundings. So transpiration will be faster. And you can see that in the little graph at the bottom there, that as the light intensity increases, the rate of transpiration increases. This will obviously level off at a certain point because we will reach that stage where all of the stomata are open. So at that point, increase in light intensity will have no extra effect on the rate of transpiration because all stomata are already open. Second factor to consider is the temperature. So the general pattern here is that the higher the temperature, the faster the rate of transpiration. And the reason for that is that as we increase the temperature, the particles will start moving faster and that means that they're going to be changing from the liquid to the gas and therefore evaporating quicker. The air movement is our next factor we're going to consider. So what we find is as air moves over the leaf, the water that's been evaporated is moved away. So if we've got a rapid air movement, then our evaporated water is going to be moved away from the surface much faster. Now the whole reason that this makes transpiration happen faster is that it maintains that concentration gradient between inside the leaf and the air outside. So just like we said previously with our diffusion, what we find is that if there's a steeper concentration gradient, then these particles are able to move quicker. So that's exactly what we're seeing here. When we increase the wind speed, then we increase the rate of transpiration. Finally, if we consider the humidity, and remember humidity is the amount of moisture present in the air, then if we've got less humid air, so that means there's only a small amount of water actually in the air around our plants, then that means that we're going to have a bigger difference between the amount of water inside our plant and the amount of water inside the air, therefore a greater concentration gradient, meaning that we will see a more rapid diffusion and therefore more rapid transpiration.